And that's jazz. <laughs> I love that. It's I great. Love that. It's, like, it's the most sophisticated thing we have for any of our well, experts. Well, that, that's quite suitable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where have you been? I've been in holiday. I've been over in California on holiday. 11 days of sunshine oh, and lovely yes. food. Lovely My heart's ah. bleeding for well, you. Well, I missed you too also. Did all you really? the Of course. Right, this week <laughs> on the show, I mean, we, you know, we're all creatures of habit. You tend to go to the same wines in the supermarket all the time. So this week you're trying to take us somewhere different. Yeah? Something, something different. And I know, Stephen, you love to get new grapes. And these are three grapes that we've never had in the show. 18 months of doing the show, and these are three brand new grapes, which I think are really good wines too. That's the most important thing, of okay. course. Where do we start? Starting off in Hungary, a country we don't go to very often for wine, but making really good wines. And this one, I mean, my throat's a bit dry. Could you just say the name of this wine for us? <laughs> no, I think we're going to leave that to you. <laughs> Listen, this is the Hilltop Estate, and it's pronounced uh -huh. Shersagai Fuserish. Sorry? Ooh. Share the guy for Serge. Say that again. It's taking me all day to practice. <laughs> it. Yeah, it is. That's about 78 points in Scrabble. I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll see it on the shelves in Morrison's at 3.99. So you can just pick a bottle up. Um, it's a wine which is try it. It's dry, but it's got a lovely aroma to it. I mean, I get kind of lovely kind of pear, almost a floral aroma there. Quite dry when you drink it, it's but really fresh. I think it's a lovely wine because it's got that freshness, that crispness. But a wee bit of aromatic character, really good with Chinese food, mm. really good with yeah, would be. sushi or with sashimi, you know, just the very lightly cooked fish. It Delicious of flowers, things. Very kind of floral smells. It very. Does, yeah. The only thing that puts me off time, I don't know if I'd buy a bottle of wine at 3 99 I'd be too scared that it wasn't going to make a good bottle. Well, I know that's, I mean, you're right, that's one of my kind of mottos is that you've got to pay Spend about a fiver. fiver. Yeah. But Hungary, the production costs quite low. You know, it's, it's a poor country. The production costs low. Um, they make quite a lot of this wine in big volumes, and they just managed to get a really good wine in the bottle at that All price. Right. Okay, now next up. On. Oh, on the show, I remember you brought in a Pinot Gris a few weeks ago, and this is a Sauvignon Gris. So is that kind of the same? It's not, Stephen. It's a kind of. Uh, this, this grape, Sauvignon Gris, some people think it's a cross between Sauvignon Blanc and Pinot Gris, but it's not. It's a grape in its own right. It's related to the Sauvignon Blanc, but it's got a bit more body to it. A bit more kind of texture. So again, have a little go, and it smells a bit like Sauvignon Blanc. You know, it's got a bit of that kind of pea poddy, appley kind of note. Oh! And on the palate, like a Sauvignon, but richer. Oh, I like this a lot. This is really nice. It's different. Isn't that delicious? It comes from Chile. Is this it's a bit sparkling? Is that just me? No, I think it's got a tiny little bit of fizziness to it, which a lot of wines have when they're when they're bottled. They put a little bit of carbon dioxide in just to keep them fresh, but mm. it's not as sparkly. I it's really a still like that. wine. What do you think, Michelle? I like it. Yeah, I like, like it a lot. Okay. Sicano Sauvignon Gris 2009 from Max and Spencer's at £7.49. Two winners so far this Two week. winners, and I think we can do a third. Yep. So we're going to Greece again, a country. Oh, I'm not so sure now. <laughs> <laughs> you said that. <laughs> Listen, Greek wine might not have a great reputation, you know, the Retsina and all those wines, but they're making some really good wines, white and red. This one comes from the island of Santorini. It's the Hatsidakis Assertico. 2009. It's in Waitrose at £9.49, and a Sirtico's the grape, a Greek grape from the, from the island of Santorini. You've certainly picked the names this week, haven't you? I know, it's a bit of a mouthful, but again, you'll see it on the shelves and you can just pick up a bottle, but mm. if you try this one, isn't it lovely again? It has that dryness, that kind of real crispness, but this one oh. I think, it's lovely, but it's crying out for some food. Yeah, yeah. And I think, again, I'd put this with fish and like seafood. Tom. Well, we're all crying out for some food. <laughs> this time on a Friday. I don't know if you, you wouldn't go into a bar and order a glass of that, would you? I think you need to eat something with you it. You need I to, think but so. I quite like it. I think, it's I think I prefer it to the other two. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, it, it's, it's definitely on the dry side, but it's got lovely, lovely fruit, and it's got what I call minerality, and that just means it's got a really kind of stony, fresh finish to it, which I think is delicious. Still under a tenner. Still under a tenner. 9 is not cheap, but it's a really good bottle of wine. So in terms of food, what would you, what would you eat with that? Well, definitely fish and seafood again for this one, Stephen. I mean, you know, I think something like a you know, piece of halibut just just grilled, you know, so it's just kind of nicely grilled on the outside, but still quite moist on the inside, or some scallops, or really oh, any fish and seafood. Lovely. Uh, what are we doing next week, Tom? Next week's going to be a treat, I think, because we're one of the things that's hard to match wine to is chocolate, so we're doing some wines <laughs> to match with chocolate. Oh. I'll get some chocolate in the studio I too. I, you're off next Friday, aren't you? No. Oh, not now, not <laughs> now. I'll be counting down the days, Thomas. So will I. Tom Thank Canavan, you very great much. to have you back. Thank you very much.